Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. Um, baseball season is almost upon us. So what I want to do is just go over um, my, my setup for this year. I'm actually going to start from the most basic setup uh, or the, the most cost-effective setup that you can do um, and then just build off of that, okay? So the parts you're definitely going to need are the clamp. Okay, and then um, the magic arm. Okay, let's put it together. So you have the magic arm. Uh, you're gonna need, actually if you don't, if you really wanna get basic basic, just get this cell phone uh, holder, cell phone mount. That way you don't even have to buy a GoPro or an action camera or anything like that. And then you just take your camera and you, if you have one, uh, <laughs> you can use your actual camera or um, if you have one, you know, that's just an old one that's laying around and you just want to use it for video, that's probably the, the cheapest way to go, right? So the clamp, the uh, magic arm camera mount and you know a camera that you already have and a camera that you already have but if you want to go the action camera route okay you're still going to use the super clamp the magic arm and then you're going to have to get this which is the uh, tripod uh, adapter for action cameras. Then you mount that to the magic arm. Okay, and then I happen to be using uh, DJI now, nowadays, so we will use the, put the uh, action, magnetic mount on and if you don't have one of these things I highly recommend it it's just a uh, it's like a wrench for the action camera screw thumb screw and it gets it like super super tight all right so this is like the action camera basic basic most cost effective uh, setup where you just have the camera and the clamp in the arm okay but let's go let's go into um, the setup that I've sort of built over the years I've just built upon this basic setup um, over the years and uh, for, for for various reasons you'll, you'll see all right so hold on First, I added a metal cage for my camera, um, just in, just because uh, for additional durability. Um, you know, in case like the a foul ball hits the fence or something like that. Um, but not only that, what I what I like having this for is the cold shoe mount so that I can add an external microphone. Um, and you see this just has the magnetic mount built in so you could still mount it like this and clamp it to the fence behind home plate. Okay, and then over the years I've added things such as uh, external batteries. So there's external battery. Um, what I used to do is just put it into a pouch like this. It usually comes with a pouch. And then all you do is sort of hang this off of your setup like this. And it just hangs behind home plate. Okay. This goes into the USB C port on this. 
power it with the extra battery. Um, and depending on the size of the battery, you can film for hours and hours and hours. Uh, one word of caution regarding using an external battery is make sure you don't have an internal battery. Because what will happen, I've explained this in other videos, but what will happen is that the external battery will just charge the internal battery. And then the device will run off of the internal battery. And the external battery will shut off because there's nothing happening. And then when the internal battery dies, that's it. Like this doesn't know to turn back on to charge the internal battery. <laughs> so you want to take the internal battery out and run it only on the external battery. That way it, rec it recognizes that it's, you know, running off the external power, as you can see by the icon. So with the action camera, you have one USB-C port and I had been using it for uh, the external battery, but then I decided that I wanted to have better audio. And um, <clears throat> so I ended up getting this mic, the Sennheiser. Let me take the wind muff off. So I ended up getting this mic. Uh, external mic using the cold shoe here and I had to make a decision I either wanted better audio or you know longer battery I decided that I wanted to have better audio um, and then just I would just switch out the battery you know whenever it died I have to just check periodically and if the battery is running low I just come and switch it out not a big deal then DJI came out with this which is the uh, USB-C mic adapter that so comes with a, you know, 3.5 millimeter mic jack and then also the USB-C port. Turns out, if you plug this in and these little, uh, you know, things clip onto the hinge, where I remove the uh, bat uh, the door like this, and it clips on. Turns out you can actually use a mic, okay, <laughs> using the mic jack and an external battery using the USB-C port. So you'll see. Uh, again, no battery. Oh, there, it turned on. And now it's on. And then in a second, you will see. Hold on. There, you see the microphone gain meter. You can see that it's working. Right? Picking up audio. So this is how I use it now. Amazing external audio, long battery life with the clamp and all that. And then in order to get super fancy, I ended up doing this. Okay, let's take this out. Actually, you know what? I'll show you. I added this cheese plate. Added this cheese plate to my setup here. So that I could mount this 
uh, it's an external battery holder made by small rig see the screws here it's an external um, battery holder made by small rig and you can see the screws here that screw onto this cheese plate but I'll tell you why I uh, I think I'm a little OCD so I don't like the way this looks because it's crooked it's crooked so I ended up just using this other uh, stud that I have laying around from my photography days so I put this in here Hold on a second. this until it's straight because I am OCD okay and then make sure that this this part that extends goes on um, facing away from the magic arm so it doesn't get in the way Butter fingers. Okay. So this is my this is the fancy setup that I have now. This is how I'm going into the two uh, 2024 season. So now this is this just mounts here like this. You plug this in here like this. Fancy schmancy set up for recording my son's baseball games yep that's it let's turn this off yeah okay so this is the setup oh this is a, a, a different mic this is a small this is the Sony vlogger mic it's called um, this one is a little bit more expensive than this probably because of the size I don't know um, also has this built-in like shock mount see that I, I think the audio quality of this one is probably a little bit better than this one um, but either way they, they both sound pretty good better than the built-in audio of the uh, action camera you know I, I was tired of hearing all the chatter you know behind home plate or uh, off on the sidelines this uh you get more directional audio of the game uh and less you know outside noise that's it hopefully you'll see some uh videos of this in action in the coming weeks baseball season is starting soon